Here's a quick video on configuring the send email to page plugin and what it should look like. So if you're on the administration screen and you've installed the plugin down here you'll see send email to page admin. That will take you to this page. Um, the account name and description are just for your reference. They don't really matter. Um, the email protocol that the plugin is typically tested against is IMAPS, though these others should work as well. The host name port are of course important. So once you've updated these, you should click update config. Additionally, the default space key is a space you need to have uh, configured where emails will go if they're not specified to go to different spaces. So just a simple email sent to this email address will show up in this space. Next, you should click test configuration and this should give you um, feedback on to whether the plugin was able to successfully connect to the server. If it was, this should be green. If it's not, let's go ahead and change this port number. And the test config. Then you should see something like this, in which case, uh, if it's not clear as to why it was failing, you should check the logs, your Confluence administration logs. So I'm going to go ahead and correct that and test the configuration again. Now the configuration will look good. There we are. Um, finally, what we're going to do is go ahead and send a test email. So I have an email set up here. Um, it can be sent from any user configured in Confluence to use the system and create content. So that can be anybody from a known user where their email matches the profile email address of the user or um, anonymous even if anonymous is actually configured to use Confluence. So I'm going to go ahead and send this. And now we can click on this check email now and if the plugin finds an email configured or rather a, an email in the system, it's going to give us a little information about that. So this is typically just used to verify connectivity. So it finds the email, gives us the subject, and a little bit of information about it. Finally, from the screen, you can click on this Artemis plugin support tab and create issues right from within the administration screen, if that's helpful. Finally, troubleshooting can be challenging in terms of verifying connectivity to other servers, but in the FAQ page, I've tried to list a number of reasons I've run across from various uh, customers, as well as um, recording the information that um, I use to test against. So, hope that's helpful. Thanks for listening.